when a screenshot isn't enough, record a video with Snagit. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to use Snagit to record your screen, make some quick video edits, and share or save your video with others. From the Snagit capture window, you could begin with an all-in-one capture to make your selection and then choose video. Or you could speed things up by starting from the video tab. From the video tab, there are several options you can adjust to customize your capture, like whether you want Snagit to record your cursor or turn on the highlight cursor or click animation effects. You can select which microphone to use to record your audio narration and turn this switch on or off to record system audio, which is the sound that comes from your computer. Over here, you can set Snagit to record your webcam or turn on screen draw to draw on the screen while recording. I'll turn them both off for this tutorial, but you can check out other tutorials to learn more about these features. When you're ready to begin, click the capture button and use the crosshairs to select the area you want to record. When you release the mouse button, the video recording toolbar appears. You can still adjust any of the settings from this toolbar like hide or show the cursor, and select the different cursor effects. Turn the webcam on or off, and confirm that you still have the correct microphone selected. I'm going to turn the microphone off for now and show you what happens when you begin recording. When you are ready, click the record button. After a countdown, everything within the recording area is now being recorded. If you forgot to turn on your microphone, after a few seconds you will see a message like this that lets you know that your microphone is muted. If you meant to record audio, just click the microphone button to turn it on and then continue recording. You can always trim out the part you don't want in the Snagit editor. While recording, you can toggle on or off any of the settings on the recording toolbar. You can also pause the recording at any time and then click to resume when you're ready to continue. If you want to restart your recording from the beginning, click here and to cancel completely, click the X. When finished recording, click the Stop button. The recording will open in the Snagit editor and you can play it back to preview the video. Use the green or red handles to drag and select any section of the video and click Cut Out to remove it. A yellow line marks where the cut was made. If you play back the video and see that you cut out too much or not enough, just click the Undo button and try again. Once you're happy with your video, there are several options available to save or share your video with others. Use the share link button to send your video to Screencast and get a shareable link to send in an email, chat message, or post on your website. Recipients can click the link and view the video on Screencast. If you'd like other options for sharing your video, click this drop down menu to see many popular sharing destinations like Dropbox, Google Drive, OneDrive, Microsoft Teams, and YouTube. If you'd prefer to save your video as an MP4, click File, and then choose where you'd like to save the MP4 on your system or network drive. If you're interested in learning more, like how to record a picture-in-picture -picture video, or how to use ScreenDraw in a Snagit video, please check out our other tutorials. Thanks for watching.